hey what's going on guys today we will take a look at how to any how to theme an ionic app and how we can uh, uh, theme our ionic app uh, in variable.scss file so this is my uh, tabs ionic project which I have created uh, using one command called ionic start your project name and the starter template that is tabs so here you can uh, see it's just a simple project tabs ionic tab simple project so in this tab we will uh, theme our uh, we will theme this ionic app so let's get started so here you can see this is my home.html file and all we need to do is we need to make some changes in variable.scss folder which is right under the theme folder so here you can uh, give your own custom theme to your Ionic application let me show you how you can change the background color of your Ionic app to dark here you can find one import statement that is ionic.theme.default it is set to default uh, color so let's change this to dark and we'll see the preview inside the browser so here you can f see it is appearing in dark color and the text is in a uh, white color so this is running on Ionic lab and also I have uh, I chose two platforms that is Android and iOS so let's add a button in this and we'll see how we can change the color of this uh, color of that button in inside home.html so let's say button and let's give ion button this is one attribute for ionic buttons and the color of the button will be you can give anything here so let let me choose one color from the colors variable inside variables dot scss folder let's choose danger let's give hit me let's run this and let's see the preview inside the browser so hope you are getting how you can actually change the colors and how you can give your custom theming to ionic app and i'll show you how you can uh, give your custom theme to ionic components as well in the later part of this video I'll show you it is taking a bit time yeah it is it is showing in a danger color hit me so as you can see here at the bottom there are three tabs home about and contact so let's change the color of these three tabs to some uh, to this color uh, to the secondary color which is in green light green color so let me show you how you can do it actually so I am under the ionic framework documentation and inside API you can find a bunch of components and here you can find your tabs by searching using control F in the browser this is tabs and inside tabs as you can see we have different kind uh, different types of uh, tabs uh, this is the android uh, this is the ios version and you can find inside android version as well and we have windows let me show you how you can do it so for theming your ionic app you need to use sas variables and this allows you to uh, give your own custom theme to your Ionic app so let's change the color of this uh, tabs which is present at the bottom of this application uh, let me find mm, the color right tabs iOS tab icon color so this one is used to change the icon color right icon color which means this icon color about contact color so we can use this here under the app iOS variables 
as you can see here and if you are if you want to use material design variables then you can use it here for windows you can use it here and this is the section for app theming right so we will use this inside the ios variables and let's say color dollar colors means our color variable which is created at the bottom or at the top and let's pass the color uh, I'm gonna use the secondary color you can add your own custom colors in this variable in this uh, colors array so let's save this and let's see uh, right is it going to change the color for tab icons or not we'll see now under iOS right it is showing the icons in a light green color right and let's change the color of this active home button and for that we have different SAS variable let me check here uh, iOS tab icon color active this variable which we need to use to change the color right for this I'm gonna use same method but the different color uh, let me use dark yeah this dark one right let's save this it, it is going to change the color of the active element right you can see here it is appearing in dark and let's see how we can change the colors of tab icons inside Android uh, this we need to follow material design it means Android Android variables uh, let me give some margin right we'll give some margin to these icons so tabs MD margin uh, top we will use this inside material design and let's give uh, 10 pixels right let's use 10 pixels now we'll see it is uh, yeah the 10 pixels has been added as a padding top inside Android but not in the iOS you can see here the difference right in, at the bottom of the screen of the, at the bottom of the tabs you can see here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, increase the font size of tab icons of the tab I'm gonna increase the uh, font size to 24 pixels let's save and let's see as you can see here the font size is increasing significantly this way you can theme or your uh, ionic app your ionic components you can give your custom themes and uh, let me show you how you can uh, theme uh, floating action buttons that is fab I'm right under the components section so here I can find uh, floating action buttons in different styles this is the top right edge manner and this is in the horizontal uh, this is in the vertical position and this is more like circular form so I'm gonna use this kind of floating action button inside home.html file let's copy this and let's paste it here below this button let's save and let's see the preview yeah it is it has been added uh, okay I have added this uh, this floating action button which is appearing at the top right edge of the screen you can see here and uh, let me show you how you can actually change the background color of these social media icons inside this floating action button right let's explore and let's say fab fab button right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the background color of this floating action buttons right 
right under the API section we can find a bunch of SAS variables which is related to floating action button and here you can see fab list button background color which is default is set to the uh, light gray color you can see here it is in the default section so let me uh, y you can also notice one thing here this is all that means uh, it is globally applied to all platforms that is iOS Android and Windows so this is very helpful for us but the all section is not present for all components right it is available only for few components might be ionic team can uh, uh, can apply all section all SAS variables to uh, all components so let me use this here and you can use here at the top of app iOS variables because it is globally applied to all uh, variables so we we do not need to worry so let me use this here and let me use this dark color for this floating action buttons let's save this and let's see the preview inside the browser it is appearing in the light gray manner and you can see now the buttons are appearing in the dark color the background has been changed to dark color so this way you can uh, animate this way you can theme your ionic app you can give your custom theme to ionic apps hope you understand and hope you like this video thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.